In this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add sound effects to your transitions and projects to give them a little bit more of a cinematic feel. So in this case, I have this project that I've already done in the previous tutorial. Final step is to add a whoosh or something that adds to the motion of the effect. So you can see here I've actually dragged in a little sound effect clip that I got from a website called freesounds.org. That's just one example. Do your research, find some different websites out there offering royalty-free and copyright-free or Creative Commons licensed sound effects. And just make sure that the way that you're using them falls in line with the way that they're licensed and copyrighted out. So I'll link this one below, but as you can see, most of the times these sound effects will different sounds. So basically whatever editor you're in, just grab a clip, and then you pretty much just place it in between the cut or where the motion or transition is happening, and it'll add that cinematic whoosh to it. If you want, you can right-click and apply a little crossfade at the end. If your cut wasn't so smooth and a crossfade at the beginning, just to make sure there's no cuts on and off, and you can either click on the track and lower the level either to a certain amount of disciples, lower or higher, depending on how it's playing with your background music and whatever actual clip audio there is. Or you can actually keep all of your sound effects on their own track and then lower the overall track volume to a specific amount. If you want to do it in that workflow, there's no specific decibel level that is perfect for any project. You kind of just have to listen to it and see how loud do I want this sound to be, and just listen to it over and over and adjust from there. From here, I could just copy the same cut that I've used over different transitions that I want, or go through and find different sounds so it doesn't get stale. And that's pretty much all there is to it once you get in the right position. And although this is just how to add a whoosh, the principles about adjusting the levels to your ear apply for no matter what sound effect you're adding in. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, definitely leave a like on it and let me know what you thought in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all my new future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. If this video helpful to learn quickly, hit the like button, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.